so we're on to chapter seven. You know, like I said, the chapter, the title here is uh, Our Community Affects the Way We Grow Money. Remember, we, we're talking about the article last week. We're here on today to look at how to grow money, about how to enjoy money. Our community helps us in enjoying money, right? Uh, he's shown to the court in chapter uh, of um, e Egyptian, uh, and he, this one talks about he wood does not gather wood in summer, will not be warm winter. We're pretty much talking about the need to respect the seasons of our life. That's one of the key messages that Jim Rohn teaches us, even in this same uh, direction, in power, financial empowerment, uh, in personal development, is the truth that life is made up of seasons, right? And there are things that are supposed to be done in each season. Those things, when done in their season, are easier to do. Once you miss the season, it's difficult to do things that are not done in their season and in their time. Right, so it's important for us to understand the season of our life and be brutally honest with ourselves and make the best of the season of our life. There's no use working last year's crop, right? Uh, wherever we find ourselves, the important thing is not uh, where we wish we are, where we want to be, per se. It's we have to make the best use of where we are in terms of physical physical space, in terms of chronological order of our life, spiritually, physically, and otherwise. So respect where you find yourself. Yes, you need to have a vision of where you want to be, where you want to, a vision of your future, but right, yeah, that future is not gonna build in the, in the sky, right? It's gotta have foundation. The foundation is where you find yourself presently be a connection between where you are and where you want to be, right? Where you are and where you want to be must be connected, right? Otherwise, you won't get, you won't get there, right? It's not all of this uh, translation or transportation or transportation uh, thing that we used to see in Star Trek. You'll stay somewhere and get up here in another place suddenly. No, life is not like that. Life is a journey. Life is a process. Life is it, it, it's, it's a track, right? You, you, you are something today, you'll be something tomorrow. What is a function of what is the in-between, between where you are today and that tomorrow? Depending on how you use the in-between with the timing where you find yourself, right? It's not magic. It's suddenly. It is, uh, it is, it, it is a track, right? That track tells your future. Hey, Toba, you're welcome. Good to have you. All right, I'm just going to go ahead. So, what the proverb is telling us that we should do things in their season, in their timing, and then I know that will that give us the result that, that, that we desire, right? The others that we're looking for. What would also teach us, it says that. You know, in the time of the others, it's a time of maturity. If there's something bountiful to others, then that means you, you need to take it with pride. You know, you don't have to feel like shy or feel that that anybody, whatever anybody will say, in the reward of your labor. You are getting a, a as it were, the result of the mission of your life, telling you that, yes, you have done the right things. And this is the result. You do the exam, right? And if you are not getting the right harvest, it's also the result of, of your life. It's a testament to what you did in the times before to say that you did not do the right things, right? It's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to deny. It's not something to, 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 um, to, to, to just brush aside. It's something to look at at the result and ask myself, what can I do? What would I have done differently to get a different result? Because if I continue the same old thing, I will continue getting the same old result because insanity is expecting to get a different result by doing the same old thing, all right? So let's go on in, into the, into the next slide. We just want to discuss 
our community affects our growing money, right? Pretty much for all of us, and how to grow money is our upbringing, our origin, our parents, right? Our family. That's what we're supposed to be taught. Our our money relates to us. How we're supposed to earn money? How we're supposed to grow money? And how we're supposed to enjoy money? But we know that that does not take place most often than not, right? That is why those that are from uh, poor heritage could potentially continue on that track record unless you have what we call a transgeneration uh, agent, people that will break the costs, people that will break your umbilical cord from all that is evil and make a difference. You say that these are normal, but whereas those from rich families are the most often than not get, could get taught how to make money and they continue that line, like lineage, right? It's all about, uh, because if we don't get taught, we won't know what to do as it relates to money, right? Because money is not magical. Money has, there's a method to money. There's a formula to money, just as there's a formula to success. If you do those things, you will get the result, right? Money has nothing to do with where you come from, where you were born. It has nothing to do with the economy of, of, of where you find yourself. It has everything to do with knowing what to do and doing those things. And when you do those things, money will come to you, irrespective of where you find yourself. Right? There are things that bring money. And if you can know those things and do those things, you will get money. Right? It's not magical. It's not, as it were, spiritual per se. Right? It's just principles. Right, principles, full stop. Right, people deceive us and talk about oh, they have anointing for this, and people pray all the oh, for, for, pray for now to thy kingdom come. If you don't apply the principles, money will not come your way. Money is not magical, it's not the suddenly. There are simple principles that bring about money, and all you need to do is to be able to apply those principles. That's why uh, the only book talks about that wisdom is a principal thing. Wisdom is a principal thing. In all you're getting, get understanding. If you can understand money, money will become your friend, right? So pretty much we said that where we're supposed to learn all of this is from our parents. But our parents probably don't know any better. So they're not even teachers, right? That's the case with most of us. That was my case also, right? So I always wanted to be rich. I always saw myself rich, but I just didn't know what to do. So I tried... Several things that I thought was it, failed several times, all right? Until I learned what the real thing is, right? I, I came into the walking world, you know, and being, being, a, being a supposedly good person, I used that word, you know, I was making money, but I was spending everything that I was making, right? I, did, I didn't know what it was to save. I wanted to save, no doubt, but there were people all, all around me that had needs, so it was like everything that came, everything went, right? Not for myself. There were just people around me that did it, that did it things. I was, uh, I was a minister in the church, so I'm open to a lot of people that have needs. They come to me, you know, and I, I'd come up as someone that could not say no. So I was, I didn't know what savings was. I didn't know what investment was, right? So everything that I made, everything that I spent. Right, that that is a road to disaster. Right, that is the road to disaster. Unfortunately, being a church boy, the church did not help anyway. The money I did not give away need, the church wanted it. And the church preached to messages on giving everything that you have, empty your bank account. Right, and they all talked about the suddenly, there's an announcement, I'll just suddenly give you money when you throw everything away. You know, and those are erroneous messages. That is not true. You won't find that in the Bible. Right, uh, because and the people that preach them also don't make it, except those are the people that are in charge of the offering, right? But they don't make it from what you would call the marketplace, right? So we need to tell ourselves the truth, we need to tell ourselves what the word of God says, what the principle of life says, so that we will not just be running riot, right, and not getting any results. Um, 